What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and ooh, is that my sword? Oh, yeah. I got it. I got it. Uh oh. <gasps> wow, if those spikes went up like two seconds earlier, I would have been dead. Ah, that's my sword. Oh, my good lord. You got back the hero sword. <laughs> You drop. Look at the way I'm standing. That's not right at all. Now you're back in business. Take care and not drop it again. Yeah, so first off, listen to this music. Just listen. Isn't this amazing? I love it so much. So, yeah. Just bam. Aha! Aha! Now I think I can kill you. So this guy is pretty much a pushover. The mini bosses in this game, much like actually a lot of Zelda games, they're kind of pathetic. <laughs> Can I drop a joy pendant? No. They're like the upgraded version of the bulk of blooms. I don't actually even know what they're called. Ooh, what's that green thing? Hey, Dr. Poopy. Oh, I see. It was just the rupee starting to drop. And yeah, there's another weapon you can pick up. A giant machete. You know what? Screw my sword. I'm taking this thing with me. That's badass. It's like a freaking uh, Ichigo Ichigo's knife in Bleach. I can't remember the name of off the top of my head. Uh... Uh, Tet no, no, Tetsaiga is from freaking Inuyasha, but that kind of looks like that as well. Now, let's go inside the door. What's it called now? I forget what it's called. Whatever. <laughs> I give up. Uh... Seaster? <gasps> oh my gosh, she's actually in here with two other girls. One with weird crystals in her hair and the other one with some rigs. I love how they look at me like, what? <laughs> Who's there? Uh oh, my control is rumbling. That is probably bad news, bears. <gasps> it's the sun purport, it's nighttime! You, your source of power is gone, sunbird! What are you doing here? Run, Link! Don't just stand there, you butt! Or stab him in the toenail or something. Uh oh. Oh. Sorry, sister. Where, where are we going? I am not a woman with long ears, pointed ears. I got, look at this ship on the top as well. How did that get up there for one and for two? That's freaking amazing. I love that so much. It's only like half a ship too. I mean, it's like a third of a ship really. Look at all that tribal crap as well. That's so amazing looking. Oh my good lord. Hello can... I mean, who's that? <laughs> I actually almost slipped. That wasn't even a joke. Oh great. Yeah, that's a great idea. Just toss me. Don't, like, eat me or anything or question how I got in here or torture me or anything for sneaking into your fortress of solitude. Just throw me. I'm sure I will... I'm sure I will die. Yeah, because that's a thing that'll happen. Well, I mean, I am just floating in an ocean. So chances are if we get a good storm. Oh, hey, there's someone here! It's like a fisherman's boat or something. That's awesome. Link. Link. Wake up, Link. Oh, it's sunny out. Am I daydreaming? Is this my conscious talking to my to me? Or is this the guy that saved me? Pull yourself together, Link! Hey, it's a single- Oh, that's Errol! That's the spirit of Errol! Hey, it's the boat! Where the balls is the guy that saved me? Was that? I guess that must have been my subconscious talking to me. Well, have you come to your senses yet? <gasps> oh my god! What the fuck? Oh my god! Surprisingly dull, is it? What do you mean you're a freaking talking boat? Don't laugh at me! You're a freaking talking boat! What the balls, man? Did I startle you? <laughs> no, it's, it's fine. That was it. Uh, that didn't startle me. I suppose that is only natural. As wide as the world is, I am the only boat upon it which can speak the words of men. I am the king, king of red lines. Do not fear, I am not your enemy. How do I know? I mean, you sure you saved me from death? Link. I've been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. That's creepy. Especially when you're an old bo Look at that, he, like, it's just his head that swivels. It's really weird and creepy. I, under I understand how your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fearlessly stand up to anything. 
But such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I'm out of breath from running. <laughs> I suppose you saw him. Which might I add, running with a broken toe was not very recommended for one and for two. That didn't feel very nice. The shadow that commands the monstrous bird. His name is... Bob. Oh my god. What an ugly, terrifying name. He who obtained, obtained the power of the gods attempted to cover the land of darkness and was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganon, the emperor of the dark realm, the, the ancient legend spoke of. I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, but now that Ganon has returned, the world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. Tell me, Link, do you still wish to save your sister from him? I thought I said shave your sister for a second. I was really confused. <laughs> I'll shave my sister to save her! And will you do anything to sa shave her? Yeah, sure, why not? She, she's, she has hairy legs. It's really disgusting. I see. In that case, I shall guide you as you go forward, advising you where you should go, where you should do, and where you must go. Ganon cannot defeat it by human hands, let alone what, by what little strength you possess. What do you mean? I'm a freaking macho manly man, man. The key to, to, the key to defeating Ganon is locked away in a great power that you can wield only after much toil and hardship. Do you understand? Uh, I, I guess. I don't freaking know. In that case, we depart to the Great Sea. Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. This is actually a bit embarrassing for me to admit, but... Although I am indeed a boat that... That possesses the power of speech. I possess no sail. Sail! And a boat with no sail can sail no seas. I have brought you to the far east of the dark gaze of the Forsaken Fortress. On this island is a town of merchants who deal in a wide variety of goods. If you search hard enough, surely you could find one that will sell you a sail! I am sorry to ask this of you, but without a sail, I will be useless to you. I guess, strange boat that I have never seen before in my life. I, I will do your bidding. The island of merchants is home to many valuable goods. The information they provide you may come in handy during your endeavors at sea, so listen carefully to their words and heed them well. But remember, there is no time to play. Come back here immediately as soon as your errands are done. <sighs> okay, fine. Jeez. Ah, the music's all fun and stuff. Yay. So this is a bit of a contrast. Windfall Island. This is pretty much the main hub of the game, guys. Yep. It's the main hub of the game. Hey, look at the little girls. Let's talk to them. What's the matter, mister? Why are you looking at us like we're aliens or something weird like that? What? We're good girls. We don't spread rumors. I'm sure you don't. What? Can't you see we're busy? I know you're super cute and all, but that doesn't mean you can just come up to us and talk to us whenever you like. Jeepers! <laughs> Alright then. Um, hmm. Ooh, is a secret door in this bush? Yay! A, red, a blue rupee that looks very distinctly like a purple rupee. There's about 50 rupees. It's in this place. It's kind of on the edge of town here. It's even outside of town. Edge of the islands. This be the bomb shop. Go on, use the look around. Ten bombs. Ten thousand rupees? Come on now. How's a kid like you got paid for these? You're dreaming. Look, can't you read? Do these look like something you can afford, huh? Twenty thousand rupees for twenty bombs. Thirty thousand rupees for thirty bombs? Listen to me, boy. You're out of your mind. You can't pay for these, so scram. I call for you, boy. Now go on. Beat it. Wow, what a dinkleberry. <laughs> I like how this is like a timed bomb. There's something like TNT connected to a clock. I'm assuming that's... Well, actually, no, that might not be a clock, actually. No, that just might be the um, the lever you pull to activate it. Huh. I guess it could be either or, though. I mean, it is kind of tied up to it, but that just might be for storage purposes. I feel like tying up dynamite to, like, the lever that activates is probably not a very good idea. I just feel like keeping bombs in a place like that in general is a really bad idea. Hey, it's an old man. Oh, oh if you please, young boy there. Please help me. Oh, good lord. What do you want? Please listen to my tall tale of woo. <laughs> you know her. Okay. Oh, oh, my sweet, sweet daughter. My only daughter. Poor Maggie. She was captured by a bunch of villains and taken to the Forsaken Fortress. What on earth could those scoundrels want with her? Are they just roaming around looking for young maidens? Or are they evil creatures that delight, delight in mischief? Oh, well, crud. Having a kidnapped daughter doesn't give you a single rupee, you know. Excuse me? Excuse me? 
You're sad that your daughter's gone because you can't make a rupee. Excuse me? What? Please, please save my poor daughter. I beg of you. Here I stand begging. I hope you'll give those scoundrels in the Forsaken Fortress a good scare. They'll pay for what they've done. Oh yes, pay. So, if you guys remember, the girl that was in the Forsaken Fortress, the one in rigs, that would be this guy's daughter, which is really weird. I mean, that's really disgusting to me how, like he said, that doesn't get you a single rupee. It's like really, holy crap, what is that? No! I knew that was going to happen. God dang, I don't want to throw my bait. <laughs> holy crap, that's like a, that's a straight up cliff. That's crazy, man. This guy over here I have fond memories of. You say you want to sail for a boat? Tell me you're kidding with me. Listen up, laddie. But, uh, try using your head a little more. The way he says laddie. As a kid, I thought he was saying lady, and that's how he spelled lady. So I was really confused. Like, oh my god, Link's a girl? <laughs> and I was pretty convinced Link was a girl for the longest time. What makes you think a bloke like me, a guy who makes his living off the sea, would give away the very sailing gear he needs to survive? Look at us, we're lady. <laughs> I'm just going to start saying lady. Because I find it funny. So yeah, for the longest time, like I was really confused. So have I explained that story yet? How I initially named Link Zelda in this game because this was my first Zelda game and I didn't know that Zelda was the girl and Link was the boy <laughs> so yeah and then like I thought he was a boy but his name was Zelda and then I talked to that guy and then I thought he was a girl named Zelda or she was a yeah you know what I'm saying if you can indulge me for a moment please admit that I'm looking fine why looking this fine would have won me the Miss Windfall crown way back when I'm still looking better than all the younger girls I know. <laughs> look at this weird sign. Oh, good lord. Look at guys tripping on some acid sheet. <laughs> what? Don't know what that means. <sighs> this place looks good. Oh my god, it's the dang shop. They're danking it up in here. Oh my good lord, this guy looks crazy as balls. Hello, 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 hello. You are standing in the one and only chew jelly juice shop. You must have heard. Only. Our potions are like the best. <laughs> I'm telling you, they're too good. In fact, they're incredible. Absolutely incredible, even. Hmm, what's that? What's chew jelly, you ask? Looking somewhat bewildered? Oh, sir, you must simply be joking. You don't know what chew jelly is? Well, just ask yourself this, good sir. What is a robustly nourishing element? What is a myth myth mystical substance that is good for the body and mind? Ask yourself. The words chew jelly roar the answer to these questions, proclaiming themselves to be true. Why, the key ingredient is the most effective potions around. All you have to do is bring an empty bottle to my little juice shop here, and I'll let you have a taste. What, which begs questions, sir? Do you have an empty bottle? Well, there's a bottle there. Can I buy it? Hello, hello, hello again. <laughs> chew jelly, juice shop. Yeah, 100% natural. Just chew jelly, I drink. Oops. 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 So, do I get a bottle if I buy this? It says red potion. That looks like a... Clear potion me. Mm -hmm. Why? You don't tell me I have an empty bottle. Oh, so I can't. He says something with the law of physics. Hey, there's rupees up there. I'll take that. Ha <laughs> ha! I get rich while you get poorer. Uh, take this for not selling me your bottle and refusing me business. <laughs> okay, so this place will probably come. And um, it'll, it'll come in use later on when we actually have a bottle. S bottles, <laughs> especially because you know um, we don't have a bottle yet, and we're in hero mode, so it'll be scary. What's this guy doing? He's sad looking, looking for a sail. I have no idea where you'd find one. Do I look like a sailor to you? Look, I'm feeling down right now, so shove off, will you? Go past that guy in the massive coat. Or massive coat. Is he in here? Is the massive coat guy in here? Hello? Hello? Ooh, shiny jars. Must be like, You little weasel! Uh-oh. Well, thank you so much for coming to my home and breaking my high-priced faces. Oh my god, look at his mustache. Wait. Is that coming out of his nose? Is that a nose mustache? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> If you break any more, I assure you that I shall not let it go lightly. No, sir. Not at all. I shall require constipation. 
Yeah, what are we gonna do about that, huh? Huh? A hole? Nothing, that's what I thought. Let's get out of here. Wait just one moment! What? Do you think you just break someone's vases and leave without paying them? I'm as surely you're any naive. I don't know what that. I I, I have no idea how to pronounce that. I, I'm assuming it's supposed to be like naive, but I, I don't na naive. Eat? I don't freaking know. Ho ho! Those happen to be extremely high class bone china vases that are a minimum of ten rupees each. Oh no! How expensive! Most certainly, I shall now accept constipation for them. Let me see now. That comes to a total of. Ten rupees! Really? You're not gonna charge me for your other one I broke? When you break someone else's vases, it's only natural that you compensate them for their loss. You, my boy, are in the wrong because you were destructive to Tom Foolery. And now, because of you, I'm gonna be even richer! I was quite rich before. The world's a cool place, isn't it? Wait a minute. Don't stand there looking like you've been swindled. Be on your way! Interesting. Now, I think if we do it again, I think something else happens. I forgot about this until now, and I'm not even sure. Like, I, I did this before, but... I think he, like, kind of screams it. Wait, just, does he just say the same thing? He might just say the same thing. I must have the rupees to spare. I am going to need to buy something here. Oh, does he just... Okay, I guess not. I don't know, I think I might have to, because I'm pretty sure I get, like... I don't want to spoil it in case it does happen. Yeah, 10 ru 20 rupees. Oh, alright. Okay. Alright, so now he's not warning me anymore. Yeah, alright. Yeah, yeah. It's weird that he says he'll be richer than before. But, um... Maybe if you just break all the... Po oh, you know what? I bet, ha I bet it happens when you don't have enough rupees to pay for it. Hmm. Maybe I'll have to spend some money here so I can show that off. Yeah, I guess let's talk to you. I'm trying not to talk to too many people, and I'm talking to, like, everybody. <laughs> she is so sussy, isn't she? Oh, my God. I can't believe she's such a... She's a school teacher. Rumor has it she has mountains of tacky pendants and earrings. Oh, my God. Oh, my glob. It's as if she loves nothing in the world more than jewelry. Hmm? Now, just what are you doing? Will you listen to us, you scamp? I can't keep the voices up. I can't. <laughs> You listen here, young man. Oh my glob, I haven't seen you around, so I guess you're new to Windfall. I, but don't you know it's bad to eavesdrop in conversations meant only for adult ears? We're discussing very, very important topics that kids just won't understand. You're far too young to be listening to us, young man, so shoot! <sighs> Fine. I don't believe you guys are blown. Wait, this guy has a big coat. <laughs> Look at his little smell. My story is a strange one. I came across the cursed seas from where I'm far away. I was like, and he, look, he's, he looks like he'd be Canadian with that, right? Or I, actually, I guess he'd be more like an Alaskan guy. I was thinking Canadian because, you know, snow when he was wearing a parka, but Alaska makes more sense. I don't Does Alaska have a p specific accent? Probably, but I don't know what it is. And then blizzards blow violently, heading for this town called Windfall. Wait, he was heading for this town called Windfall? Dear me, my ship was torn apart by vicious winds, and this island is where I washed ashore. There's one other person with me. Yes, there was. But I dare say he was immediately arrested based on his somewhat suspicious looks and thrown in jail. Yes, locked up somewhere on this island. Needless to say, I'm really worried about him. Would you be so kind to help free him from captivity? Indeed, it would be much appreciated. Is that it? This guy is pretty important. He gives you a task, but... Do, do we have a reason to help him? Ah, I'm so very worried about him. He's locked him in jail somewhere on this island. And indeed, he's just a little like you. Yes, he is. So we should recognize him in an instant. Oh, yes, we will recognize him in an instant. Hey, it's Mario! Hey there, boy! Did you happen to see the post box down near the docks? Well, just so you know, if you want to send someone a letter... Yeah, just just do it. You just send a letter. Before long, the read the postman will come deliver it to who, who, whomever you sent... Who have you sent it to? He's a hard rocky fellow, I tell you. So that's actually pretty cool. I, I, no, that's a complete lie. <laughs> it's not pretty cool because you only, unless it's been upgraded, you really only make use of the post box a few times in this game. It's it's weird. This is the post box you're talking about. Though. I forgot to check this. Something interesting happens when we check it, so I will spend 10 years. Good morning! Welcome to the Island Postal Service. What do you have for delivery? Yeah, the post box talks to you. Isn't that freaking amazing? I love it. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, I guess I'm going to call an episode there. Ooh, what's up here? 
Let's go see. Oh, is this a coffee shop? Is it Starbucks? Oh my goodness, that's Starbucks. Do they show a little cutscene for this? Oh, they don't. Oh, I thought I remember them showing a little cutscene for this place, but I guess not. Hey, this girl's kind of cute in a way, actually. Welcome. Oh my, you're a very small customer, aren't you? Oh, well, that's fine, of course. You're just free to look around. What do you mean? I've seen like freaking eight-year-olds walking around with coffee these days. Sure, I need, I need coffee. I need, a, I need a woman. I don't know why. Oh, <laughs> this guy gets scared. That's right. Whoa, don't start me like that. Sheesh, I thought you we were having an earthquake or something. Yeah, that guy's actually talking about the fact I was breaking pots. Lately, I've been hearing that monsters from the Forsaken Fortress have been going around kidnapping girls for long years. Can't believe it. After all, two girls with, from Windfall have been captured. Poor Maggie and Mila. Mila? This breaks my heart to think about those two. Both their fathers des are desperate to find anyone who could rescue their poor little girls. Uh, what kind of world has this become? So much fear and suffering. Indeed. Help wanted. A light, product, sorting, etc. Pay depends on experience. Acquire at the Dragon Roost Island Mail Center. Ah, that's interesting. Huh, that actually becomes relevant in a bit. Um, yeah. So, uh, we've started exploring Windfall Island. That's actually, this has actually been a while that's happened this episode, especially with the whole freaking Ganon thing and the freaking, oh, the freaking boat, man, the freaking boat. Like, I just creepily watch me. Okay. So, in the next episode, uh, there's a few more things I want to do here for we figure out how to get a sail. Like, few, I mean, if you know what, I, if you know about this town, there's something here I want to do. And I do want to go up these stairs here because it leads to a, play, a guy that I want to talk to. The father of the other girl has been captured. Ooh, I know. Ooh, I know. And there's also these guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah, ah it's a gang of kids. Whatever will I do? Ha <laughs> ha. I have mastered the power of parkour. You guys can't reach me from here. It's funny because I can't. <laughs> All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. The next one, we will... Maybe get ourselves a sale? I don't freaking know. Until then, talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.